What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of not launching or not starting issue currently having with Jurassic World Evolution. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want to you guys know or let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys, you would support my work on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that, so anyways I would just say, let's get right started. So the first step I would recommend doing for everybody is gonna be to take or navigate to the very bottom of your screen, we're gonna right click your taskbar and open up your task manager. Once the task manager pops up, I want you to navigate to the top left corner, clicking onto processes, and once you click processes, I want you to click one of those random processes, doesn't really matter which one. Search for your game by using your keyboard. If nothing pops up, it's good for you. If something pops up, simply right click and hit end task. Once you're finished with that, I want you to end the task manager again. And the next step is going to be to take your shortcut of your launcher from your Steam or your uh, game shortcut on your desktop and if you don't have it there simply navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen click into the window symbol and use your window search function in order to find it so once you found it drag it right onto your desktop take it right click it and go to the very bottom where it says properties we're gonna hit that hit compatibility and simply copy my settings so let's quickly run through it enable run this program compatibility mode for it select windows 8 disable the disable full screen optimizations as well as enable run this program as an administrator hit apply and ok I would personally recommend to reset your PC afterwards and once it is restored you should be able to see this little administrator symbol right into your shortcut. Afterwards I just simply want you to double click it and launch a game with the launcher or launch a game instantly and this will probably fix your issue. That's it for the video guys, I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that just leave a like, a comment or a subscription, I'm gonna really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways I would just say have a nice day, see you at the next one and bye.